Hammer Bowling presents the latest addition in our upper mid performance line, the Hammer Wrench. I'm Jeff Ussery, the Hammer Brand Manager. Wrench combines two of the best technical components in the Hammer line today. We started by utilizing the original MPA core shape and then covered it with the cover stock from the Jet Black Taboo. Polish it off with a 2000 grit surface and powerhouse factory finish and you've got one of the longest and strongest balls that Hammer has ever seen in our upper mid price category. The Hammer video team is back once again to show you five different ways to attack the lane with the new Hammer wrench. We'll show you the new Hammer wrench on Kegel's Main Street lane pattern. This medium heavy oil lane pattern gives our Hammer video staffers extreme length with a strong down lane movement. We'll start once again with our big back ender, Robert Flunder IV from Maumee, Ohio. Robert will start by showing the brick and ratchet, our previous releases using the MPA core shape. Robert's wrench is drilled with a 4 and 3 quarter inch pin position and a strong mass bias placement to the right of his thumb. With its polished GTR3 cover stock, Robert's able to hold the ball on a more direct line to the pocket. The wrench is strong enough to cut through the oil without getting offline early in the ball's motion. Jeremy Hunt, our amateur staffer from Sykeston, Missouri, is up next. For Jeremy, the brick and ratchet were early to mid lane length options that he could use at limited times when the lanes were slick. With his high rev style, Jeremy's always looking for balls that are easy to push through the front of the lane, and the wrench matches up perfectly for him. With the new wrench, Jeremy has the complete lineup in the MPA Core Series from early roll to late back end movement. Our female video staffer, Kim Mann, is up next. Kim plays the straighter angles on most lane patterns because of her lower revolution gain. With the brick and ratchet, Kim's slower ball speed gave her motion that was still best on slicker lane patterns. With the new wrench, Kim's able to move further right on the lane and play a more direct angle with the polished surface. This matches up better to her arm swing and makes her more comfortable on the lane pattern. It gives her a smooth rolling option that doesn't overreact to the friction. Sean Lee from Denver, Colorado is up next. Sean starts out with the brick and ratchet. Ratchet was one of Sean's favorite reactions from the summer introductions. The wrench plays off of that shape for Sean with a longer move through the front of the lane and an increase in the entry angle at the back end. Sean's able to go very direct through the front with the polished surface, moving a full seven boards with his feet and five boards with his eyes, but he still sees great downlane response from the new wrench. 
Last up is our lefty, Les Mann from Wooster, Ohio. Compared to the brick and ratchet, the wrench easily glides through the front of the lane for less before unleashing an aggressive but controlled back end reaction. You can see that Les is able to get the ball to the friction early on this main street pattern and the wrench doesn't overreact to it. It reacts to it strong but not too much as it arcs back to the pocket. Les is able to move 5 and 3 off of the ratchet to throw the new hammer wrench. For more information on hammer, check out our website at hammerbowling.com, as well as our brand page on Facebook. Also connect with hammer on Twitter at bowlhammer.